Hi, I'm Leah Mason and I run Ina Green Designs. Okay, so I'm a stay-at-home mum with two children. Um, they are four and six. Um, and I've always liked making things, um, but when you have babies, that's quite a challenge and quite time-consuming. So it had to take a bit of a sideline for a while, but I have managed with a lot of juggling to try and incorporate that back into my life because I think it's really important for my children to see that I have my own identity. It is definitely challenging and often you have to deal with what's thrown at you. So if your ch children need something, like if they're poorly or they need to go to school, then you have to deal with that first. Um, and it does sometimes feel like I'm slotting in my own life around everybody else's. <laughs> but I think you have to keep, I have to keep persevering with that because it's really important for me to maintain some of myself. So I'm really excited about September because I almost feel like I can start a, a real job. I'm gonna to have to treat it like a real job. Also need to create something that can work around the children because the financial implications of putting children in childcare is, is unrealistic, really. So I'm really lucky we have a breakfast club so I can drop the children at breakfast club, come home and imagine I'm going to work. Um, I think that's the only way I can do it because it's too easy to get caught up and think I'll just do a load of washing or I'll do the washing up or I'll get ahead of the game on those things. So I'm gonna have to be very blinkered and come through the house and uh, go straight to my little studio um, and sew or make or do whatever I need to do. So when, when I get in there, I um, become this fantasy figure that's Ina Green and she came from the fact when I first uh, left work to have a baby I had a bit of an identity crisis and it's very hard because you spend a lot of time doing very menial tasks um, so I started blogging of, on a personal level about my exper experiences and I developed this fantasy character who had this wonderful life and she's called Ina Green and she has never got baby vomit on her shoulder and she's always very glamorous and maintains herself so I'm imagining that I transform into Ina Green and it's all about me really and reclaiming myself and my creativeness and producing something and being a grown-up uh, woman and not just a mummy bot. <laughs> So I'm really lucky in that I had quite an alternative childhood. I was brought up on a canal boat. My parents are both creative. I was around a lot of creative people when I was younger. Um, and I've always had that in my background, I suppose, and I'm very lucky to have that. But um, life isn't always, you know, wonderfully <laughs> creative. So I've gone through this journey and, and arrived at this point. Um, I know that I'm creative and artistic. Um, I know that I want to work from home. I have a young family. Um, we're not particularly well off. Um, so if I want to do this, I've got to incorporate um, business elements into it and I've got to be realistic about it. I, it's a bit of a challenge confronting that, I think, when you're creative. So I was lucky enough to go on a business course um, and that's put me through a business plan and that's been really really therapeutic because I've sort of taken ownership of it really and it's also given me a, a, quite a lot of confidence that not everyone can do what I do and if you do have creative skills in whatever form cooking hairdressing anything like that not everyone can do that and I think if you've got those skills naturally you you don't realize that so it's quite nice to go no I can do this and actually it, this is a viable business um, and it's okay for me to ask for money for these skills and this talent.